this video, I'm going to be making a Roblox Hello Neighbor NPC character who will follow you around and if he captures you, he will kill you. I know that's not actually how it happens in the game, but just for this video, that will be what we're working with. So here, I've got a Mr. Peterson model. You can customize him as much as you want. There's an animate script in the description of the video. So if you download that and put it into your model and then add a script and name it main script. First thing we're going to do is add the pathfinding service. Then the players. Then the run service. Then the enemy, or you can just call him the neighbor. The humanoid. And then get the neighbor dot primary part and then set the network owner to nil. Then local waypoints. Local next waypoint index. Local reached connection. And local blocked connection. Then we need the damage, which will just be set to like 150 or something. But the way we're going to do it is we're going to get the attribute. And for that, we need to add three attributes here. Set them to number. And then have damage, walk, speed, and sprint speed. So damage will be 100. Sprint speed, this is completely up to you. This is the speed that he'll be chasing you with. So I'm gonna set it to just slower than us. And walk speed is when he'll just be patrolling. So I'll set it to 10. So add in the attributes. And then to get the attributes, we need to do neighbor, get attribute, and then damage, walk speed, and sprint speed. Now we're gonna start making the functions. And while I do so, I thought I'd tell you that all of this is an advertisement of a game I'm working on very similar to Hello Neighbor 2, which is called Hello Teacher, where you have to investigate a school where a lot of mysterious events have taken place, from missing kids to brand new adventures. If you want updates or if you want to be on the stream while I'm playing the game for the first time, join my Discord. It'll probably be a few weeks, maybe even a few months before the game is actually finished, but I'll be streaming creating the game, and once it's finished, I'll be streaming playing the game, where you could join my game and play with me. Now we need the can see target function, which will be NPC to character, which is going to be the distance between the target's head and the neighbor's head. Now NPC look. Which is the neighbor's head dot C frame dot look vector and then the dot product, which is going to be NPC to character, and then dot, like colon dot, and then, M, and then NPC look. Now the origin, which is going to be neighbor, dot humanoid free part, then dot position, and that, that's just gonna be like the origin of the dot, if that makes sense, or the origin of the, the ray. Now we need the direction, which is going to be the target dot humanoid root part dot position and then just minus the neighbor dot humanoid root part dot position and then dot unit times 100. Now this is how many blocks in front of the neighbor they can see. So if you only want the neighbor to see 10 blocks in front of them, change it to 10. If you want it to be a thousand, change it to a thousand. I'm going to keep it as 100 for now. Now local ray, which is going to be ray.new, then the origin, comma, direction. Now hit, pause equals workspace, find, find, part on ray, then ray, and the neighbor. And just to check, we're going to print the dot product. Now here's where it gets a bit more custom. So if the dot product is bigger or greater than negative 0.1. Now this is what I would do if you want to do if you want them to see less you need to do like 0.5 but I'm going to do 0.1. Then if hit then if hit is descendant of the target then return true so so yes they can see the player and then down here, else, 
return false. No, they can't see the player. I'm talking about the player. We need to actually find the target. And the max distance will be 100. The nearest target is just going to be set to nothing. Now for index, player, in pairs, players, get players, and then do. And now if player dot character, then local target equals player dot character, then local distance equals the neighbor dot humanoid root part dot position minus target dot humanoid root part dot position and then dot magnitude at the end. Now if distance is smaller than max distance and can see target, so if they can see the target, then nearest target equals target and max distance equals distance. Now this isn't as important if you're doing a single player game, but it just means that if you're getting chased by the neighbour and someone goes within the distance that you are between the neighbour, then it will follow them, if that makes any sense. <laughs> now we're just going to return the nearest target. Now the capture function, which is going to be local distance, which is going to be equal to the neighbour dot humanoid root part dot position. And I'm just going to copy and paste it from up here. Minus target dot humanoid root part dot position dot magnitude. Now if the distance is greater than three, then humanoid move to target dot humanoid root part dot position. Otherwise we need the neighbor to attack the player. Now we're just going to do target dot humanoid dot health minus equals damage and we know that damage is 100 so we just straight up kill them. Now the walk to function is quite a complicated script so I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And here it is. This bit here is so that if the neighbour gets stuck on a wall it'll walk back 10 blocks and recalculate. And the final bit, local function patrol and then local waypoints which is going to be equal to workspace dot waypoints but we haven't added that yet. And then local random waypoint which is going to be equal to math.random one out of a number of waypoints. And then we're just going to walk to waypoints, random waypoint. And the final, final bit before we add any waypoints is going to be while wait 0.01 do patrol. And that's it. Now we just need to really quickly add the waypoints. Okay, exit out of the script. Now add a part. And this is going to be the first waypoint. Move these around the map and then group them as a folder. So right click and then group as folder and then you're just going to name them waypoints go down to the bottom and then here just do dot waypoints get children easy just before we go to test make sure that can collide is off and then you go to the neighbor anchor and then unanchor okay so we had an error and the way to fix it is to go to the end line here under get path in the get path function and then just do return path okay second error <laughs> Okay, and the way to fix this is to just anchor the waypoints. As you can see here, the neighbor is following the waypoints. And if he sees me, he speeds up, he chases me. And once he catches me, he kills me. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like, leave a comment. See you in the next one. See ya.